Huge shout out goes out to our current channel members. If you're interested in gaining a channel membership, then feel free to head over to my channel profile and click the join button. Also, we do have a Ninjago Discord server. It's a great way to communicate with myself and many others. For more details on that, click the very first link at the very top of the description of this video. Thanks. If there is one Ninjago season that was hyped to death right from the very beginning, it would have to be Ninjago Crystallized. The reasons for this are pretty obvious too. New villains returning, the Overlord himself returning out of all people, the set leaks were sounding kind of crazy, showcasing a huge golden dragon, a new Oni Lloyd variant, Urn of Garmadon, the list goes on. This trend did also continue as the season started to release. More specifically, when the first 12 episodes were randomly, almost obnoxiously released on LEGO's YouTube channel with absolutely no prior warning, people absolutely loved all of those episodes. They had little backlash overall, and the hype levels in the Ninjago community were off the charts. People were literally begging to know when the full season was going to be released. But... Where did the turning point happen, and when did this once great season, renowned by the fans, suddenly take a dark turning point, to the point where people currently actively just hate on the season for the most part? Well, the simple answer here is, at least in my own personal opinion, episode 13, also known as, quote, a sinister shadow. This was the one singular episode that started to show off a slight vibe switch up for the season overall, if you want to call it that. And, and along with and straight after this episode, things started to go completely downhill, if you ask me. But, obviously, I cannot just sit here and say this without any actual reasoning. That would just be, well, boring to watch in the first place. And that is exactly what I want to get into now. To briefly cover the events of this episode for anybody that isn't aware or may have forgotten, simply put though, Harumi spends the episode telling a chained-up prisoner version of Lloyd how she was revived, and how she was more or less kind of forced into working for the Crystal King, if you want to say that, and how she brought all of the Venge Stone and other things of that nature. So, overall, I guess you could say that it was things fans actually actively wanted to see, right? Assuming they wanted to even see Harumi's return in the first place, that is, of course. But, it is for this exact reason that I think things went wrong, to be honest. This was the episode where we found out how exactly Harumi managed to return, and how she started plotting her next plan to somehow bring Ninjago under her control. Or in this case, mostly the Overlord's control. But this is the thing. Harumi's return it didn't feel necessary. Now hear me out. I don't want this video to turn into your average Harumi and Crystallized rent video. Not at all. I do not want it to be like that. As there's plenty of those up on YouTube and even right here on my own channel. But there's truly no other way of describing it in some areas. It felt like lazy fan service of sorts. And it just felt unneeded. Genuinely, any other character, I think, could have played the role of Harumi throughout the season. Nothing would have really changed for the most part. That alone is where things just start to go wrong for me in this episode, and is a main reason as to why I believe things started to just simply fall apart. The fan service. If it isn't Harumi, it's a lazy ending, for example. Another thing I wanted to touch on may seem very minor to some of you, and trust me, I do hate sounding nitpicky, but some of the lines from Harumi just do not feel like Harumi at all, if that makes any sense. And it didn't exactly help matters when a lot of people, and definitely me in this case personally, were already on the fence with regards to Harumi's actual return, then have her return with horrible lines such as, quote, I had to gather players for my villainous volleyball team, of course, and another one here, can't you see I'm trying to make a dramatic exit? See what I mean? Things just do not blend well together. So for our checklist here at this point forward in the video, they've brought back an Ninjago character completely unnecessarily, they have now completely made her character feel, well, not like the character we knew from the Oni trilogy, this just doesn't merge well in the slightest. I think that it's also worth understanding that I don't dislike Crystallized for just this episode alone, because if it was just for this episode, maybe I could put this aside and I could enjoy the rest of the season a lot more. But the difference is, it's this episode that starts the chain of events that leads me to dislike the season overall. This episode simply just serves as a pretty major turning point, and from this episode and this episode onwards, the season takes a very unfortunate turning point to the point where it just isn't fun to watch anymore. I find that to be such a huge shame considering how things were initially for the first 12 episodes. This, episode this episode served as a major down
downfall checkpoint within the season where things just went downhill and turned sour all very quickly. With all of this finally being said and addressed, though, that is going to cover it for this one here. I hope you did all enjoy it. This was a video talking about episode 13 and how I believe that episode 13 in Ninjago Crystallized was the turning point for the season overall. And this is where I think things started to spiral out of control and things just turned sour and turned rotten pretty quickly from here. So I hope you did all enjoy it. This is something a little different for the channel too, but I would love to make more videos similar to this in the future. Quickly though, before you do head out, please leave some feedback down below in the comment section. I would absolutely love to hear it. If you did enjoy this video though, leave a like on it, subscribe for more if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell to stay tuned on whenever I do post a new video for you all. With this all being said, I will see you all very soon for my next one soon. Goodbye everybody.